The low trading has closed on July 9th, 2024. We'll do our disclaimer first, as we always do. We'll go over our calls and make some predictions. It's my trading plan for Wednesday, which is July 10th, 2024. Please remember, my calls can be wrong. Trade at your own risk. Also, Wednesday and Thursday, I probably won't be able to watch the market all day. And today, I'm doing my analysis before I see how the futures markets open at 6 o'clock Eastern. So, bear in mind that I'm trading without that information. I'm predicting without that information. Look for the call with the early high, which is this. Tomorrow should have the early low. This is a reminder of what we said. It's two days in a row when we didn't make a precise directional call. It's two days in a row the market closed essentially unchanged. Four points, 0.07%. That's essentially unchanged to me. So two days in a row we haven't called a direction. Two days in a row there was no direction. That's fine as far as I'm concerned. We finally got one of our targets to print, 557863. We said it was optional, but should print about 95% of the time. It also acted as support here and resistance here. So for now at least, it uh, it has been satisfied and it's acting as, as it should. We still have these lower targets and they should print at some time. During the day, Meech AT gave a sell signal. That's already played out. It's hit its minimum target. This is a pattern which usually rallies and closes near the high, which this certainly didn't. If it drops in a straight line, maybe that's it. Usually we get more, but I can't say it's impossible. We dropped in a straight line. We did close near the low. If that's what this is, now of course the time doesn't run out until tomorrow's open. If that's what this is, we should trade lower, even if we don't close lower. If it's the standard pattern, which is possible since we didn't go anywhere in the last few hours, if it's the standard pattern, we're going to have a gap and trade over this high soon. For right now, hitting a new all-time high, capping up, hitting a new all-time high, closing under these highs, Closing under these this high, if that's maintained, that's just not a good pattern. That's unhealthy. Now, of course, time doesn't run out until the open. We open up here, all is forgiven. But if we don't gap and take this high out fast, I think we'll see lower prices regardless of how we close. Wednesday's pattern has the early low, which doesn't tell us where we open. Today's trade featured neither a close near the high nor a straight line drop, although maybe that's a straight line drop, but it probably is. It's just usually more than that. That should be rectified at tomorrow's open by gapping and promptly trading outside of today's range. We gapped up at a higher high but closed under intraday highs, and if, if, that's maintained at the open, it's a negative pattern, should lead to lower prices tomorrow regardless of where we close. What the bulls need to do is to get and promptly overtake the high a day to keep this rally going. I'm not certain they have it in them. We won't know till the open. Breath continues to weaken. Sentiment indicators are close to a sell. It just isn't the environment in which I expect a huge rally to take place. Now again, we're on to Mark's sell, but that just means we're overextended. We certainly could consolidate and work out the overextended condition in terms of time rather than price. There's no rule against it, but if we do correct in terms of price rather than time, we have these lower prices that should print at some time. If this fails, it should be just a huge rally, and I just don't see that. So uh, tomorrow's pattern is the one with the early low, and that's today's call.